kids. Round of applause. How about grandkids? You got grandkids? Yeah. Got grandkids. Yeah. I'm a new grandfather. I got a three-year-old grandson. I love this kid, man. Oh, he's so cool. I love being a grandpa. He's Irish on our side of the family. Puerto Rican on the father's side. <laughs> Irish and Puerto Rican. In my book, that makes him Italian. What <laughs> <laughs> I say? If anybody asks for Italian, that's all I gotta say. You gotta explain shit. Okay? All right. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I got a Puerto Rican grandson, and I'm proud. That's right. I'm proud. Finally, gonna get my car clean. <laughs> Chevy, right? Hey, Bobby. Nah, it's cool, man. My oldest daughter is one and a half. She's 30 years old. She is five foot tall, 95 pounds. Tiny little thing. 120 pounds when she was nine months pregnant. Wife hated her. She came over to the house like two weeks before she was going to have the baby. The baby was due on a weekend when I was going to be in, in Pittsburgh. I'm like, no, I can't do this. I, I can't be away from my first grandchild. Not I can't do that. So I said, you know what? There's a Mexican restaurant just opened down the street. Let's go to dinner. <laughs> get some spices in there, get that kid out early. <laughs> so two bites of her food, folks, and she's like, Dad, look what you did! The baby started moving around. It was crazy. I swear to God, he was moving all inside. She pulled her shirt off. Now I could see my grandson. This was amazing to me. This is my firstborn child that I see life inside. I'm like, Phew. thank you. And then I looked one inch down. One inch. And I was horrified. <laughs> a little girl that was going to give birth in two weeks still had a belly button right here. I know. I looked at her and I said, please take that out for daddy. You look like a hand grenade. 